All right, girls. Let's see. A surprise for you. It's been good to have some shelter with all that snow and ice and wind and rain we've had the last few months. It's quite important the cows get a bit of uh, fiber in their diet because when they go out to this spring grass, it's quite lush and it, it will go through their systems quite quickly. So we'll allow them for several days to have a bit of silage, uh, another feed indoors for a couple of hours before they go out, just so they don't sort of upset their stomachs. And uh, eventually then they'll be weaned off this entirely and, and onto the grazed grass. Okay girls, spring's here. Let's let you out. Steady, one at a time. Steady, steady, steady. Steady. Steady now. Good girls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They settle down quite quickly, but they'll be almost as excited when they come out tomorrow morning. I think they'll, they'll probably feel like they've escaped maybe today and it's just a, a chance thing and it'll take them a day or two to realize this is actually how life's going to be for a bit. Uh, if you were to analyse the milk, you'd probably actually have a he healthier milk because grazed grass is very good at increasing uh, uh, omega-3s and, and CLA, which are uh, healthy fats in the, in the milk. So you actually, uh, there's a strong case to say that you'll get healthier milk from grazed grass. I mean, this is, you know, uh, uh, we do say cows belong in fields and, uh, and I think this is, you know, you can see quite clearly today that uh, there are a very, bunchy, very happy bunch of cows we have here for being out in fields. and. Uh, as I said, you know, milk, making milk really, all we need is the, this stuff underfoot and some blue sky above and we're away. And uh, what could be healthier and what could be kinder to the cows? And uh, it's, it's good for all concerned, right from the people who drink the milk through to the cows themselves. Mm -hmm.